Hey guys, Will Patterson here with another Illustrator video. I wouldn't say tutorial, but it is, but it's sort of more of a video for me because I am so excited because it, new Illustrator has come out. It's Illustrator CC 2014 release and it is absolutely amazing. Now you're probably wondering, well, why are you so excited? And that's because I'm a complete and utter nerd and I love this sort of updates that happen with Illustrator. I've also got Photoshop and Lightroom um, updates down here as well. So when you get the new Illustrator, when you update Illustrator CC, you get um, the Illustrator CC 2014 sort of text at the top, which I think is a really cool thing. Uh, but that's just me being nerdy. And this is sort of work that I have been working on. Now I'm gonna go through a few videos with you and they're gonna be very short, but today I'm gonna to show you about the new pen tool function. Now, the problem is that people had with pen tool is that when you drew with a pen tool, you get so confused about where you, the anchor points go or how to use it. Now, I think Illustrator or Adobe have made the pen tool so much easier for people to use. So I'm gonna to go to file and create a new document very quickly, yeah, I'll just do that. Press okay, and hopefully it'll work. My computer's been a bit slow today because I've been working on it hard. And basically, I'm gonna go and just press the pen tool, press P. Now this is sort of the dreaded tool that people do not like and this is because people hate the idea of the pen tool. The fact that you have to put anchor points and bend things and you know do all these weird things. People just rather not use a pen tool. But I think Illustrator have helped them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a little anchor point and I'm going to just draw a line with the shift tool like so. Now what the heck is this line coming out of it? Wow, this is the update. This is the sort of the new feature within Adobe uh, for the pen tool. Now you can see without me pressing on the pen tool or clicking, I'm just dragging it around with my uh, uh, mouse basically. And you can see this sort of preview and it shows you where the curve's gonna start. And this will help you know when your, uh, where your new point is gonna be or what it's gonna look like before you've bent it. So now I can go over here and work out where the bend's gonna be or what it's gonna look like. Uh, and I think this feature is absolutely amazing within Illustrator. It's really gonna help people understand um, where the pen point should be. So I'm just gonna click here. And you can see I'm holding shift and I'm dragging this way. Um, I've just created a path exactly how it should have been. Now say I wanted a bit of a curve here. I wanna create a good curve actually. Yeah, about right here. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's not exact because I'm not really playing around with it. And then say if I wanted to close off the shape. Now you get this little circle with the pen tool that everyone should know. But with this, it is slightly different. Now if you press Alt, you can see at the bottom left corner where it says pen, um, it would go make corner when I press the Alt key. Now basically, if I was just to click this, it would change the both sides of the sort of thing so you can't actually... Do you know what I mean? I'm saying it wrong, but you can see that I'm changing both sides of the path, but I don't want to do that. If I clicked off that and I have the point here, if I press Alt where it says point make corner, it will just change this corner, which is unreal, and it will help people so much within the pen tool. Now, we just created a cool shape there that I'm going to delete. But what I would suggest doing is getting um, something that you want to draw around with. So I'm going to just get... Um, Get this and I'm gonna go ahead and just edit this path and I'm gonna draw around this path um, because this is gonna make it so much easier for me to see um, I'm actually gonna change the color of this to a light gray or oh, no to a light gray I don't want to fill and with this one here I'm going to use a pen tool zoom in and I've got a pen tool out so I'm gonna start here and I'm probably gonna create a nice little curve I'm going to try and match this up as best as I can. Now you can see this will help you when you're tracing stuff because you can see the point before it's even begun. Now I'm not doing it the best because I haven't used it too much with the new update and it confuses me a little bit but for anyone who's just starting with Illustrator you'll see that you can tell where the point should land uh, because then you've got your sort of uh, preview and it looks unreal I might turn it off mine though because I don't I don't particularly enjoy it but I'm just stoked for you guys who are having trouble with the pen tool 
There we go. Create this, and I haven't done it the best, but you can see that if I just go here and do it, cut the line here. Or if I just do this. Press Alt so I can change this line. You can see that it makes it so much easier. I'm just gonna add a stroke to this, a, a nicer stroke even. Uh, it makes it so much easier for us to understand and use. And yeah, I think that is awesome. So the pen tool is updated and changed. So stay tuned for more videos. I'm so excited about this. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be talking literally about some of these new things. So the pen tool and anchor point enhancements. We'll talk about live shapes and the type kit missing fonts workflow. So stay tuned.